Hello everyone, Matt Guy here. Just wanted to take a moment to show you all how to field strip and clean a Walter P38, also known as Walter P1. Depends upon which year the firearm itself was manufactured. If it was during World War II, it was a Walter P38. If it was post-war, it depends upon the year. So uh, mine in particular is one from 1962. Therefore, it is stamped a Walter P38 on the slide. So just in case y'all are wondering, uh, but by and large, they all are the same, roughly the same firearm. First things first, anytime you clean a firearm, definitely make sure it is unloaded. So I'm going to drop the magazine by releasing the magazine here at the bottom, out at the bottom of the grip. And just in case, back the slide back. If there had been a round in the chamber, it would have fallen through the grip here. Then I'm going to put the, uh, the weapon on safe. The safety is on the left hand side. I'm just going to flip it down. The hammer itself will go forward. It'll decock. Next thing, I'm going to rack the slide back. And in the process, I'm going to push up on the, uh, on the slide release to lock it in place. Once I've done that, I'm going to flip this little lever up on the front here. And from there, I just rack it back, slide it forward. The barrel, comes fr the barrel and slide come free of the frame. Now the frame is uh, a little tricky sometimes. You have two recoil pins that you can see here. What I prefer is to take a piece of soft plastic or something that will not harm the uh, metal of the frame. And I like to compress the springs manually. Um, it takes a bit of doing but uh, that's how I get them free because I like to get in there and I like to clean everything. Once I get the uh, springs compressed, I can take the, uh, the recoil pins out. Get in there with a nice Q-tip, clean it out real nicely. Also clean off the, uh, the lower receiver and the frame itself, the slide rails, everything. Once I'm done with that, put this aside. Now we have the slide and the barrel. Easiest way to get this out, nice little pin. Push it, barrel comes right out of the slide. Get in there real nice. You have uh, firing the firing pin assembly. Get in there with a Q-tip, get some CLP in there. Clean it up real nice. It'll get real dirty real quick, so make sure you clean this real thoroughly. Then you have the bolt lock, which just comes out by just, just by a little bit of pressure, but be careful, you don't want to drop it comes free and clear of the barrel. Just get in there with a little bit of CLP, clean it up, run a brush through there, nylon, phosphorus bronze, your choice. I prefer phosphorus bronze, that's just me. Uh, every now and then if I get a little paranoid I'll use a nylon brush, but uh, sometimes they clean well and sometimes they don't. Getting this bolt lock back onto the barrel can be a little tricky, so what you do, you have a little spring here that you can see, it's right there. And uh, what you need to do is you need to put the front lip of the bolt lock underneath that spring. So I'm just going to very carefully slip it on there. And then in the process, I'm going to push down on the bolt lock so that it clears the rest of the assembly. It can take a little bit of doing, so pardon me if I take a moment here. Just give me a moment. This thing is neat. There we go. Once I got the uh, bolt lock back into place, I'm going to slide it so that, as you can see here, the slide is nice and free of any obstruction. This bolt lock slides back and forth. Then I'm going to take the slide. I'm going to put the barrel slowly back into the slide. Push down on the bolt lock. Now the barrel will not slide free of the uh, slide. I'm going to put this back onto the frame now. Now you're going to have to do this. I prefer to do this with the uh, hammer forward. I don't know if there's any other way of doing it. That's just how I always do it. We're going to put the uh, slide back onto the frame. You have this little lever here. You're going to push down on it. 
until the uh, slide is free and clear. Now we can see it's the slide is all the way to the back of the firearm. I'm going to rack it back, push up on the slide lever. Then we're going to slide this back into place. Ready to rock. Have fun.